Hi everyone, Sean Kennedy here from the YouTube channel Java SE Certification Training. In this video I'd like to look at the entry question 2.1473 from their OCA question bank for Java 8 and this relates to the predicate. So we're going to be concerned here with a lambda expression. So the first thing I want to do is look up predicate in the API. So here you can see it's an interface and it's generically typed for type T. It has only one abstract method, which is called test, which returns a boolean, and it takes in one argument, which is the same type as what t is defined up here. So if that's cat, then test will take in cat. If it's dog, it'll be dog. If it's list, it'll be list. And that's important for answering this question. So what we've got here is a method checklist. First argument is a list, that's the name of the reference. Then we've got a predicate, which is of type list, so therefore the test method needs a list to be passed in, and that's the reference for the predicate. So there's p.test passing in the list, exactly, that's correct, because that predicate is typed to list. This variable is of type list, and the test method is expecting a list which it's getting in that variable list. So we're here, we're in main, and we're saying boolean b is assigned, write some code here, please select two options. Now, this checklist method returns a boolean. It's whatever the test method comes back with, because that's a boolean return type. We've got to figure out what are the two valid invocations of checklist here. Let's look at the first one. There's the checklist method. There's a new array list, so that will be upcast to a list. So you're going to have a list reference referring to an array list object. That's absolutely fine. And in fact, all of them have that similar structure for the first argument. So that's okay. It's the second argument where the lambda expression is going to be used. That's where you've got to figure out, is it correct or incorrect? So the first part here, this here is the test method. That's the way you have to approach this question. This is a predicate, and the predicate has only one abstract method, and this is the implementation code for that abstract method. So it's essentially a shorthand way of writing an anonymous inner class where you're specifying the bare minimum. Okay, that's what lambdas do. So this is al that is the first argument okay now java can figure out that that has to be a list because the predicate is a list and therefore the methods that are available are methods that are coming from list and that is the code and if you do just put in a simple expression you don't need a return so it's passing in one argument. You don't have to specify the type because Java has figured out, well, the predicate is typed to list. The test method is going to take in a list. Therefore, that is going to be a list. It's going to treat AL as a list. And then that is the code. So this is essentially like your method. You don't have to pre-declare that AL. This is you declaring it in the method signature, if you like. But you just don't have to put the type in because Java can figure that out. That one is correct because is empty will come back with true or false. And you don't need the return or the semicolon if it's just a simple expression. So that's okay. The second one is we are specifying the type of AL, okay? Now, if you do specify the type along with the argument name, you must surround them in round brackets. So that's incorrect for that reason. And there is another reason which I'll come to in the last one. But it's definitely incorrect because the round brackets are missing. The third one, they're very similar. There's the AL like we did in the first one. And then we've got a return of that. If you put in return, you must put in your curly braces, okay? 
the curly braces, your block code, surround the return and the rest of the code with the curly braces. That's what's missing there. So that's not correct. The fourth one is correct. This is the code. The arrow here is just a separator. This is the argument coming in to the method test. Then this is the code of the method test. And add comes back with a boolean. It returns true if the list is altered due to that call. So add returns true if the list was changed. So that's okay. And the last one, what is wrong with the last one? Because it looks pretty okay. The round brackets are there. And we've got a simple expression in there. The problem is this predicate is expecting a list and you are passing in an array list. It has to match exactly. Okay. It must also be a list here. Okay. So let's evaluate that. There we go. Our answer is correct. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, please click like. If you want further content, please subscribe. And any comments, please leave them below. Thanks very much.